Hey guys, we're here at Behemoth HQ talking to you today about the banded chop going from a low anchor point to a high anchor point. We talk a lot about planes of motion. When you think about a lot of functional movement patterns that you do in your training regimen, they just exist in one plane of motion, and that is the sagittal plane. So, to make things simple, if you drew a straight line down through the middle of my body, going across that plane of motion, forward and back, up and down, that's usually a lot of the movements that you guys are doing inside of the gym space. So, we like to expand our arsenal and get outside of those planes of motion as much as we can, just because we know how beneficial it is for our strength, our fitness development, but also our health as well. So let's take a peek here. We want the band anchored to something, here's the rig post, right around hip height, okay? We are going to grab the band with our hand closest to that anchor point, and then we're gonna place our other hand inside of the band like such, okay? We're gonna step away to create some tension. Obviously, the further I step away, the more tension there is. The less I step away, the less tension there is. I don't need to do anything crazy here, okay? We can just kinda go here, all right? I'm gonna square my feet in about shoulder width position, and then from here, I'm going to rotate up and control down. Rotate up and control down. A lot of great things are happening here. Number one, we're working across that transverse plane. We're getting rotation. Rotation is not incorporated in a lot of people's routine, surprising enough. Secondly, we're working on some bracing mechanics. If you notice, I'm not just randomly ripping through these reps, but I'm breathing, I'm pressurizing my trunk as I'm going through the movement. If you notice, I'm always going slower down than accomplishing the movement, but that right there is the Banded chop, low anchor point to high anchor point.